Hey y'all, Joe here, Southern Coastal Cooking. Uh, today I got another barbecue box video for you. This is actually their August box because, uh, you know, I did the welcome box video this month too. So now I'll be doing like one video a month, you know, with the next box that comes. So I'll be a little bit more in order. But August box, we got it right here, y'all. Let's take a look and uh, see what we got inside. How about that, huh? So, uh, let's see how I open this thing. Way. Well, let's take a look. Okay. Got the recipe card for pork, boneless pork loin. Okay. Show right here what you got. How to make an injection, um, wood chips, rub. Oh, yeah. Okay. They got us some wood chips. Calm wood chips. Always good for pork con. I love to con. Oh, another another code here, y'all. I will put the coupon code. Or no, uh, whoever asked me first, just like I did last time in the comments, I'd like the coupon code. I will uh, I will send it to you. Give me say I'd like the coupon code. Give me an email. I email you the coupon code. This is good for one. Uh, use this to get seventy five percent off. I'm going to tell you the first barbecue box. So, first person I ask about that, I'll email it to you. Let's see what we got here. Oh, we got the snack. Crave pork jerky black cherry barbecue season. We'll have to try that in a minute, y'all. Let's see what we got here. Oh, mess up. Looks like sauce, maybe. It says, Judge Klein's number nine sauce. You be the judge. Secret recipe, finest ingredients. We think it's perfect for chicken, beef, pork, fish, or seafood from the banks of the Osina River. Right there, y'all. That's the sauce that's going to come with this barbecue box, okay? Next, we got a rub. Okay, this rub is uh, Tom Douglas's pork rub, gluten free. All righty, let's see. This low and slow barbecue rub is accelerated with cumin, coriander, just a touch of cayenne, perfectly rubbing anything chicken, duck, pork, shrimp. Uh, ingredients brown sugar, flakes, salt, ground ancho chilies, pepper, coriander, smoked paprika, black pepper, cumin, and cayenne pepper. All right, so here's a rub. We got that. Well, that's a nice little box. We gonna definitely be cooking up that pork loin today. Uh, let's try this jerky. How about it? We'll cut her open. Give her a try there. Uh, black cherry pork jerky. I've never had any pork jerky in my day. Look at it. Looks pretty much like regular beef jerky. I'll come on up here to me and we'll give it a try. Pork jerky. Black cherry. Hmm. That's good. Whew, strong, huh? Alright. Okay. It's okay. I mean, good little flavor to it. Kind of dry on the dry side. Uh, I'll, I'll keep snacking on this stuff and let you know later in the video and you know, what I really think of it. But you know, it's, it's pretty good stuff. So, let's get started on that pork. All right, y'all, now on to the pork. First thing we'll do is make the injection here. Uh, it's a pork injection. It looks to be the same one I made for the pulled pork, pork butt. But it says ingredients, four cups apple juice, one cup white distilled vinegar, one, one, uh, one quarter pound sugar, and two cups, I mean, no, one half a cup salt. All right, it says heat the apple juice and vinegar in a stock pot on the stove, not boiling. Stir sugar and salt until dissolved, let cool. Well, surprise, surprise, I still got some of the other. 
injection left. So I'm gonna inject along with this. I'm also gonna put some in and let it marinate in my vat master. Cause uh, to me, that's gonna be a little bit faster. So you're gonna let this marinate for two hours. Let's get that pork loin out. All right y'all, I got a pork loin down here. This is a big one. And the recipe called for like one, it's like one and a quarter pound or something like that. But we're gonna have some people over tonight. So we can go ahead and use it, do a big one. I've got to trim it up first. Y'all get this silver skin and fat and stuff off of here. So that's what we want to do now is uh, just go ahead and get it trimmed up and get it ready. And then we'll do the injecting. Got my coma knife here. It's a good sharp knife. And uh, you know, that's what you want to do is just kind of go to town with this. Take this silver skin off because that is no good on pork horn. That's not going to render down or anything like that. So, like I said, we got to just take that off of there and get it trimmed up good. First order of business. Let me get that done. All right, y'all. I got these in one of my Batmaster bags. And you can inject these, let them sit for two hours. That'd be just fine. But I got that VP112. Tell you what, man, that is one of my best investments ever as far as barbecue and everything. You can marinate so quickly. I'm just going to pour the injection here in this vac bag with this pork, and we're going to put it in the VP-112, y'all, and just let it under the vacuum just, just turn on the marinate cycle, dude. It's, it's amazing. So I'll show you all how that works here in just a minute. You don't want to put too much marinade because it'll overflow. All right, y'all, so the pork loins um, have come out of the vacuum sealer for the getting their marinade, injection, and all that good stuff. Let me show y'all here if we can get a little better picture. Now, I took this rub here, right here, the one that's sitting in, in, in the box, okay? The rub love pork rub, okay? Put it in this shaker because... Uh, I don't do rubs without shakers. I mean, I just, I need me a shaker. So we're gonna shake it all up on here, on this pork loins. Smells really, really good, y'all. I think this is gonna be a, a nice addition to my barbecue arsenal, this pork rub here. So uh, we'll uh, get this all rubbed up and come right back to you, okay? Now that sure looks pretty right there. A nice rub on them pork loins. So that's what we said. We use this uh, rub with love here. All right, y'all. We're outside at my Yoder Smokers YS640. Uh, we loaded it down with some smoke ring barbecue cherry pellets. And check. Very good. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and put the pork loins on now. I've got to run in about 275. Now this instruction said you can run up to 350. But I'd like to go a little bit lower on mine. So we'll put it on there just like that. Here we go. Shut her down and let it cook. All right, y'all, we've been cooking for about an hour now. I'm going to go ahead and hook the Ink Bird probe up. Uh, temp probe. So they're looking good there. So if y'all can see, they got that pecan wood burning over there. Uh, probably in the thickest part. The biggest one, put this, this probe in here. Put that right down there in the middle somewhere. And uh, kind of just lay this over. Close this down, let them keep going. This is the app. I just wanted y'all to see the ink bird. Hope you can see that. See, it says pork butt there. That's what I was cooking last time, but 99 degrees. It's got a really nice app. All right, y'all. Now we've reached our target temperature of 155. We're going to put some of this sauce on there. All right, this this sauce that came in a barbecue box. We're just going to baste these up. Well, they look, sure look nice. But uh, I said to baste them. And just, uh, and just hit them up with this 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 sauce. All right, so we're gonna do that. Let this sauce cure on for a couple minutes, y'all, and then they'll be done. They'll be ready to go. Good looking stuff here. Oh yeah. 
this is awesome. But I'm, I'm gonna get those done and come back to you in a few. But y'all, after they've cooked on here for about 10 minutes, sauced, let that sauce just kind of set in on them. I'm gonna put them here in this pan, cover them with foil, and we'll let them rest for a little bit till we get ready to eat. All right, so I'll pull my tent probe out of there, make bird, and we'll just grab these right here, set them down here in a pan, y'all, just let them rest. That's what they need to do. All righty. All right, y'all, so let's see how this barbecue box recipe Work for a pork loin. Here's nice, wonderful rubs and everything else. Let's uh, just check it out here. Y'all remember we used this uh, rub of love, Tom Douglas, I believe it was. All right, so let's cut in this pork loin. Get, get a nice cumin knife here. Let's just cut us off a little plug. See how it is. That's nice. Look at that, man, oh man, smoke ring. Everything. Absolutely gorgeous. Okay. Try this little piece. See how it is with this barbecue box recipe. Mmm. Mm. That's some mighty fine pork, y'all. Mm -hmm. I'll give it a try. Don't forget. Barbecue box description I'll put down in the description box. First person to ask me about that gift code, I'll send it to you. Just uh, say I'm interested in the gift code and put your email in the, com the comments. Thank y'all so much. Please like my videos, sub my channel. Y'all bless. Y'all take it easy.